If I was really struggling to get out of bed in the morning, this is the stack that I would call upon to completely eliminate procrastination, boost my motivation and boost energy levels. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas. I'm the founder of Ergogenic Health and my mission is to bring you the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So please do me a favor and like this video, hit subscribe down below, and please like the video as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. So ultimately in today's video, what I'm gonna do is look at the supra physiological dopamine stack that may be worth playing around with if you're someone who struggles with low motivation. But first of all, let's take a look at what is dopamine. So you've probably heard me talk quite a lot around um, the functions of dopamine and some of the various roles that it plays in, in terms of influencing our behavior, our motivation. And the key point to understand is that dopamine is all about seeking more. Now that can be seeking out a particular goal that's gonna to lead to a reward, or in general, it just provides you know us with that ability to persist and strive towards our goal. In fact, a lot of people get confused and think that dopamine is all about purely pleasure, when in fact, it's actually the opioid system that really makes things feel pleasurable. It's the payoff. The payoff is actually the opioid system, not so much the dopamine system. The dopamine system is more about goal-oriented behavior. So we can see here how that's clearly relevant to most people right now who are struggling to you know, start tasks or complete tasks or they just don't have the discipline to actually make leeway with some of the things that they've been putting off. So ultimately, let's take a look at the superhuman, supraphysiological dopamine stack. Now, the first nootropic in this stack is Thiamax or TTFD. Um, all of these ingredients, I will be leaving links down below so that you can purchase them. Um, so the first ingredient is a special type of vitamin B1. And we're looking at a dosage of around 50 milligrams. Now this particular type of B1 does a great job at activating the dopaminergic system. And it also has been shown to activate the dopamine D1 receptors, which has been shown to increase locomotive behavior, which is um, activity levels in general. So vitamin B1 at 50 milligrams, that's also accompanied with 9-methyl-beta-carboline or 9-MBC. I've done a video on my channel talking about the benefits of 9-MBC. But in this stack, we're using a very small dosage of about five milligrams. Usually you'll see people use between 15 to 30 milligrams. However, when we're building out these stacks, we need to factor in synergistic actions, similar mechanisms of action, the role that they play, the function that they serve, how they work, and also some of the downfalls as well. So my rationale behind using five milligrams of 9MBC is that it has been shown to sort of regenerate uh, dopamine neurons and has also been shown to increase the sensitivity to stimulants. So we can see how that can be highly beneficial in this supra physiological dopamine stack. This is then accompanied by bromantane, also known as ladastin. Now bear in mind, this particular ingredient is banned by WADA. So if you're a, an Olympic competitor or an athlete watching this video, um, be careful because bromantane is banned in the Olympics. I wonder if I have any Olympians uh, watching my channel, that would be interesting to find out. And we're looking at a dosage of about uh, 25 milligrams. Now. Usually, yet again, you'll see dosages for bromantane hovering between 50 to 100 milligrams, but the whole purpose of, a, of a building a stack like this is to consider the synergistic actions um, and also bear in mind, you don't need the full therapeutic dose in this situation, in this context. And again, it's also very individualized. So personally, I get a very strong um, dopamine boost from even 10 to 15 milligrams of bromantane. And so my rationale behind using bromantane is because it increases tyrosine hydroxylase expression and it also enhances vigor and drive. So that's one key aspect there. 
The next ingredient we have on the list for the supra physiological dopamine stack is cordyceps mushroom extract. And we're looking at a dosage of around 500 milligrams. Now, a lot of people look at cordyceps and they'll see it you know, mentioned in adrenal tonics or formulas that help with building up the adrenal glands. This is true. And this is one of the reasons why um, a lot of these adrenal nourishing herbs or adrenal boosting adaptogens, you know, how they work is actually through the kidneys and through the actual, uh, I guess, the output of dopamine because dopamine is actually regulated by the kidneys and dopamine has many functions in the kidneys as well. So the rationale behind this is that cordyceps acts as a monoamine oxidase B inhibitor. So it inhibits the Mao B enzyme, which enhances motivation and, and willpower. Next up, we have L-phenylalanine, which is the uh, essential amino acid. Tyrosine is not, whereas L-phenylalanine is an essential amino acid, which means that the body actually requires this amino acid from our diet or through supplementation. But the advantage of using just straight L-phenylalanine over consuming phenylalanine-rich foods is that we don't have any competing amino acids and therefore the effects of phenylalanine are more pronounced and more potent when used in isolation. And bear in mind, because we're increasing the tyrosine hydroxylase enzyme, we need to build up with the substrates, which is, you know, tyrosine, because we're going to be ramping up that enzyme. So L-phenylalanine is a good substrate to help to build up more dopamine. And then finally, we have babchi seeds or Cerealia Corifolia. Now these are basically uh, traditional Chinese or actually Ayurvedic seeds that are used for weird skin disorders and also depression. And with the actual seeds, you chew about two to three of these seeds. And from that, we'll, we'll get a potent DAT inhibiting effect and also a, a Mao B inhibitory action as well. So that DAT inhibition is the dopamine transporter by inhibiting DAT, which is actually the same pathway shared by uh, cocaine, which inhibits DAT. Um, a similar pathway here, obviously less potent, but still somewhat decent, is by using babchi seeds. So we can use about two to three seeds chewed. And then I also had in a caffeine source. So the caffeine source is optional. I guess majority of my listeners here probably drink coffee. I personally don't. If I do, I'll use it whenever I need it for special occasions. Let's say I'm doing a 5K time trial event or a um, two hour leg session, or let's say I've got back-to-back -back webinars or things that I have to present. Um, so caffeine can be included in the stack. You don't have to eliminate it entirely, um, but that is my overall supra physiological superhuman dopamine stack. Um, this is obviously just one snippet of what I truly know in terms of, you know, the whole gamut and the whole sphere in the nootropic space. Um, if you think this is cool, then I really encourage you to check out my nootropics masterclass that will be linked down below. The Becoming Superhuman with Nootropics masterclass. You can use the code YouTube20 um, to save 20% off my course, which basically goes through a range of stacks for different occasions to help you know increase your confidence improve motivation reduce social anxiety um, and basically everything that a lot of people are craving which is why i built the course in the first place so definitely check that out down below if you enjoyed the video please like the video be sure to share the video around and be sure to um, subscribe to all of my other social media platforms Thanks everyone for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.